Uh, I'm just going to raise the volume on this clip and put a watermark. The watermarks are not here. So, watermarks, images, watermark. These are them. I'm going to grab. I tend to go with the bottom left one or the top right. But usually the bottom left is what I go to first. I'll just skip through it, make sure the logo isn't blocking anything. And then this can just go right here. I'm cutting off um, a lot of intros and outros as well. I mean, not that not that I'll never use them again, but I'll use them only if needed. Retelling. I like the abrupt endings that just goes to the website now. Um, beginning. Definitely don't need that. Can probably just start off right here as well. We don't need intros, especially if the website's going to be here the whole time. Chad, uh, that didn't work. Chad. So I'm going to grab. Um, what I have is tech time and stock clips somewhere. New logo cut. I'm just gonna stick that here. Chad, oh. right here rather. Chad, electrify the world's scientific community. Nick and then aside from that, every living thing. 1908. By Constructions commonly used in forensic science. Uh, I might do just since I'm already doing this an adjustment layer. Since I'm already re-editing, I might as well just go ahead. And what I tend to do here is put on the effects, put on the fast color corrector, and what I do is I go to the mids and pop it up to either 1.1 or 1.2 and it just gives it a little more brightness uh, sometimes I'll crunch the blacks a little to give it more contrast but then I'll do 1.2 and boost up the mids and then because that desaturates it takes some of the color out I'll put the color back into like maybe 110, 115, let's try like 115 puts the color back in and it makes it brighter so if this were off you would see the difference off on it just gives it more pop and clarity brightness and then I'll also put on the unsharp mask and that I'm gonna raise to about 70 I typically go to and then I go to the radius and change that to maybe like a 3 somewhere between 3 and six two and six depending on what video you're editing what it looks like but a safe spot see three is all right you could see in his hair and his uh look around his hair it gets sharper and so that's a pretty decent one for everything like i just went off the skull but anyway if I were to look at, let's say, this vial, and I take off this effect. So it just gives it like a little bit, a little bit of pop, a little bit of light, a little bit of color, a little bit of sharp sharpening, and that's it there. And then so we got the logo, we got the sharpening. Last thing is audio. It's from chewing. The meters should be hitting as high as possible to the zero without going into the zero. Let me just make sure your volume's okay, you got volume on. 
I'm going to drop this down. Actually, I'm going to leave it up just so you can hear the full volume. Um, you can see the wave. Or using your jaw muscles. This meters are hitting like negative six. So quick way uh, Neanderthals. to pop that up is multiband compressor. Uh, with Adobe CC, there are the, the uh, Essential Audio Suite, which is actually really cool. Um, but I'm not in that, so I'm just going to use the multiband compressor. And I'm just going to boost it up upward 6 comp plus 6. Almost fit the bill. Our, right there, it's already close to the top. Our primitive, slightly dim-witted ancestor. Ernst Tackle. Even and it went too far. Okay, so it went too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check for a limiter. They don't have a limiter, I guess, in Adobe CC, an audio limiter. They do in, I, I mean, sorry, in CS6, they don't apparently. In CC, they do. The limiter you would just put at like a negative one or a negative point one. Um, and all that will do is it will limit right here. It'll limit it so it doesn't pass. So where the limiter is on this one is actually on their dynamics. So I'm going to put on the dynamics. And then I'm going to open it up, and there's a limiter right here. Now, this limiter is set to negative 20. And you can see when I play it, it's going to, ca it's going to cut every tried to everything it's going to cut everything off around negative 20. Then name them Homo Stupidus. Other scientists had... So it crunched everything way down. I don't know why it's beeping like that, making that noise. Ne Neanderthals were some... Okay, so that's wrong. So instead, I'm going to bring that all the way down to zero. And now it might be too close to the zero. Failed evolutionary dead end. They gave the same skull to nine different artists and said, what did he look like? So that's pretty good. It might hit, it might hit the red because it's so close. Oh. Initially reconstructed to look like some. It's not actually, but if you want to be safe, you can bring it down to like negative 0.30. Same thing in CC. If you go to get a limiter, it's called hard limiter. Um, just put it on and put like a negative, just a tiny amount. So it, it, it caps, it limits from going in the red. Yes, researchers have answered this. This video is done. Like every living thing, modern humans must. See the meters. 1856. Son See the audio meters everywhere. The audio meter meters are up there to the top. Long. I knew I would one day find it. So it's a large part of my life. And you don't want them just slamming the top like all the way up there all the time. You want them kind of bouncing around just under the top. So. This little area of negative six, negative nine, whatever. But not all scientists accept this conclusion. For instance, Dr. Bridget Sennett of the Natural History Museum in Paris. But you see how it's just, it's really hitting up there, and that's, that's really good. So that's done. So those were the three things here. We did a uh, watermark. We did some uh, uh, visual enhancements. Let's see if I take that off. What happened? Is it doing anything? Am I missing something? Why am I not seeing what it's doing? Because I'm frozen, I guess. Am I frozen? No. Let's look at this and then take off the layer. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing what this layer is doing. Did I take things off this layer? All right, something's wrong with the preview, I guess. Something weird is going on. Because I don't see this doing anything when I take them off, so maybe something's wrong. I'm just going to save this. I'm going to close it. Oh boy, got things opened up here. All kinds of stuff open up here. And now, reopen it. Oh boy, is this the project I had? Yeah, this is it. All right, so now if I take this off, it's see the difference. I guess it's just frozen up. If I take this off, it looks dull and then it looks sharper. And that's it. I'm going to export. Make sure my ends are there. Control E. Uh, my settings. 50 can be about probably be like 30 cue it 
And actually, just just to check to see, boy, where is all this stuff? Da 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 da, da media. Um, this one, right click, details, and so the rate is 14. So I can go back to the media encoder and change this to like, let's just do 18 or 20. All right, and that's it. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to send it out, and that's the end of the story. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And we are done.